welcome to my channel the dressmakers closet my name is Jane so today is a bit of a long one I think we shall see grab a coffee if I was you I've got uh, custom clothing updates sewing pattern updates question and answers loads of things going on so grab a coffee and I shall share everything with you in two ticks Welcome back. So if you've just found my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell and follow me along on Instagram where you will see daily outfit inspiration and things like that. So yeah, so where have I been for two weeks? Well, it's been quite busy for me because I don't do anything by half. So no, not me, Jade. Always run instead of walk and I have been working on um, getting the Martha top, which is this design if you remember the Martha top getting it ready to go over for pattern testing because this is going to be my next sewing pattern and um, I've been busy doing some prototyping and what have you and just some samples I've been working on the pattern the pattern is all graded ready to go all I've got to do now is type up the instructions and then get that all passed over to the lovely ladies in my pattern testing group if you'd like to join the pattern testing group, everyone is welcome. All skill levels are most welcome, so don't be frightened if you're fairly new, because obviously you've got to learn sometime, you've got to pick up a pattern sometime, so it's good for me to have some feedback from newbie sewers, how they can read and follow one of my patterns, so don't be frightened. I'll pop the link for the Facebook group in the box below. If you fancy joining, come over and join by all means. I can't promise that you will be picked for every every uh, pattern test because obviously I can only have so many but hopefully you will get chosen at some point because I've got quite a few patterns in the pipeline that I'm going to be bringing out I'm trying to get a little bit more momentum on my patterns I have got loads and loads of ideas in my head loads and loads of patterns that I've already created for myself which obviously I've got to try them out on myself to make sure they actually do fit and work and look nice and then obviously some of them I'm going to then turn into sewing patterns some of them I'm going to keep as a um, some of them are going to keep unique to my custom clothing side so some of them will be patterns and some of them will be in the made to order section of my shop so if you if you've never seen the Martha pattern or you've never seen me wearing the Martha pattern I'll pop some pictures up of what it's going to look like and these were made both in the same fabric different colours in like a viscose linen with a little bit of stretching and when I did these two I was playing around around with the neckline finish this was the first one I did if you remember in this gorgeous double gauze and I did it in that meter challenge so I literally squeezed it out of a meter and I did the bound neckline on that one and I did it again in this cotton like a floral cotton poplin again with the bound neckline so when I was coming to do the the pattern I thought I shall try out a facing so this this gorgeous sunflower yellow one is with a facing but in my mind although it's fine absolutely fine in my mind because we've got the gathering going on here it, there is obviously a little bit of bulk and I just don't think it still lies flat even with the facing even with the understitching perfect for me and I'm a bit of a perfectionist so but I wanted to try it out and um, so that's the first with the facing and then I did another one again even though I've already done them in the bound just to make sure I was happy in my head and yeah I do prefer the the bound neck with the binding definitely with the tie and I just think it gives a neater finish at the back I don't know I just think it's I just prefer it so the pattern will be for the bound neckline so that's what I'll be tweaking I'm probably I'm probably my own worst enemy because I do faff about I do look into things a little bit too much probably I sometimes do create problems that really aren't there I am quite nitpicky with myself I don't know whether it's because I'm a Virgo I am very much a perfectionist and sometimes 
it can be it can be a bit of a pain sometimes but that's just what I, that's just me so yeah so I'm quite happy now that it's ready to go as a pattern all like I say all I've got to do is type up the instructions and get those lovely ladies in my pattern testing group to test it out for me and all going well grab my coffee because it's going to get cold all being well I'm hoping to launch the Martha top by mid mid end of August so fingers crossed I shouldn't sit I shouldn't think there'll be any problems but that's when I'm planning to launch it I've also been busy with the launch of my Orla top which is remember the Orla top and really I shouldn't be doing two things at once but again that's me I really should have you know concentrated on one project and then worked on another project but because I see them both as separate items sewing patterns and then my clothing custom clothing I see them as separate so I think oh well I'll do them both together really really I shouldn't because I am like yeah overstretching myself I suppose but if you remember the Orla this is this gorgeous one I did and this is in this gorgeous I'm not I can't even remember what fabric it is but it's got this shimmer to it um, it's like a boxy top raglan sleeves and I did, I did a little bit bit of slow hand embroidery and it's got these gorgeous amazing puffy sleeves of the cuff very simple boxy style with a little button loop back so this is the Orla top and this is actually in my shop as a custom made item not in this fabric because this is just a fabric that I got for myself to work on the design um, but it is in it's now launched so I launched that uh, was it last week and it's going really well thank you to all those that have ordered I am up to date with getting the orders out so that's good so if you're waiting for your orders there's no delays so far and um, these are the fabrics that the Orla is in I've, I've shown before these are the French chambres I'll quickly show you again this one is completely gone now this is I've got left for one more and that's sold that's in the large pink floral so there's no point me showing you it but it's oh so stunning so that's all gone but I still do have the large blue enough there for maybe five or six more of the large blue floral they're all in my shop then I've got this ditzy blue and then the ditzy pink they're all they're all gorgeous and I've got quite a bit of the ditzy pink so not too bad on the orders for that one in the ditzy pink dot not ditzy pink in the dotty pink and then in the dotty blue so they're the fabrics that I'm working with and then once they've all gone I'll then bring the all top out in a different fabric and what I'm trying to do is with the custom made is I'd like to have obviously build up my collection and then give you the option of choosing anything out of my collection with a choice of different fabrics so at the minute I've only got the Orla top in these fabrics but what I'd like to do is maybe have the Orla um, just say for exa example the Poppy Pinny for say for example the Martha so you could have your choice and then have a nice selection of fabrics so you could say well I'd like the Poppy Pinny for in that one or I'd like the Martha in that one so that's what I'm aiming to do so it's a little bit more flexible and you can then choose you can choose your design and then choose your fabrics and down the line I'd like to be able to say you can mix and match your fabrics so you could pick a little bit of that fabric with a little bit of that fabric to make into the top type of thing but I'm working on that so bear with me on that that's that's what I'd like to do so I see both sides of the dressmaker's closet now the so I'm totally focused on the, just the two things I was like in a bit of a, a grey area before because I wasn't quite sure which direction I wanted to go but I so love creating clothing for people to wear and I also love to create patterns for those of you that like to sew to create them yourself so I didn't want to just go down doing the sewing patterns because I love to sew so I thought if I split it but just concentrate on those two things I don't think I could possibly do anything else then I can do both things that I love so I've got my sewing patterns and then I've got my custom clothing brand 
and it's going so far so good. So I've even got, I've had to obviously, because I've had a rebrand, I'm no longer Loopy Mabel's closet, I'm now obviously the dressmaker's closet and there were the labels I, I was actually putting in my custom garments and obviously they're out of date now so I've had to get some new ones made but they'll be very very similar but uh, obviously the wording will be changed similar logo but just with like the pink circle and the white wreath type of design but almost the same but they're coming so I've got them on order coming and all my garments have the sizes so I have the the labels with the sizes which get stitched in so they all have the sizes and also you'll be, you'll be chuffed you'll be chuffed with me I've gone an extra, gone that extra mile and I've also got the care wash labels to go in as well. So you know what you can wash them on and iron them on and things like that. So they also go in the garments. So I really am taking it very seriously and um, that's the direction I want to go. So that's what I'll be doing. And obviously my YouTube will be everything that I do if it's just sewing for me a lot of it's about doing some like blogging for other companies i'd like to do tutorials cozy vlogs so so i've got like three creative sides going i suppose but it's just it's just enough so that's what's been going on so that's why i've been uh, no vlog last week because i was just so busy doing fifty thousand jobs when really i should have only been doing one job but yeah so that's the reason why i didn't have a vlog last week so now i've got myself organized in my head and i know what I want to do I feel a little bit more focused now so that was good because it was bugging me a bit because I wouldn't I didn't know whether I wanted to do this did I want to do that and should I do oh I was like really driving me mad so my lovely friend Lynn who is my best friend now who we meet every fortnight she said to me why don't you just choose focus on two things so your head is not as cluttered with loads of creative things because she knows how creative I am and she just concentrate on what are the two things that you want to do and that's how I came to clear my head so thank you Lynn she's so lovely um, yeah so that's what I've been doing and then I've got some question and answers so I thought I would go through them and some of them cover the things that I've been up to as well so, so thank you for the questions and uh, this is a bit this is a bit of fun so let's just plow straight in so the first question was from Paula thank you Paula was what's your favorite go-to alcoholic drink well I don't drink no I'm teetotal I used to drink I used to drink vodka I used to love drinking vodka and coke it's about six years ago Christmas Day where are we now yeah six years ago Christmas Day I just thought do you know what I just don't want to drink anymore and I also thought and also because I'm a carer, I care for my husband, John, I just thought, you know, if anything happened to John in the night and I couldn't take him to hospital or anything like that because I've been drinking, I mean, how how shameful would that be? And I just thought, no, you know what, it's, it's just not worth it. I'm quite prepared to do without. So I don't actually drink. So, yeah, and I've never missed it in six years, not once. I've been to celebrations, Christmases, parties, weddings, and uh, never never touched a drop i just drink soft drinks or like um gin it's called ginger beer but it's not beer it, it's like a ginger fizzy drink like sugar free i drink a lot of that i love that i love ginger or like a ginger tea i drink loads of coffee but that's another thing that's not alcoholic is it so yes yeah, so no i don't drink and then paul has also asked do i have any brothers or sisters well actually yes i've got an older brother sean he is 18 months older than me, so we're very similar similar in age. I'm 55, he's 57, just gone. I wouldn't say we're close. We weren't really close growing up. He tortured me as a kid. But I wouldn't say we're like close brother and sister. Uh, we never have been really, so, but he's around. He lives local and he's always at my mum's, so I see him quite often. So yes, yeah, so I've got one brother. Paula again, thank you Paula. She has said, <laughs> Have I had any modelling experience as my photo poses are so good? And the answer is no. I go in the garden, take my own photographs, nobody else is involved. I have a, like a Bluetooth timer and I just stand and take about 50, 50 photographs of all different angles, all different poses. And out of those 50 photographs, I'll be lucky if I get four decent ones. 
and that's all I do. I don't I haven't got a clue how to pause. I've just obviously I've been on Instagram for a couple of years now, so I have found pauses that show my best side, I suppose. Yes, yeah, so that's all I do. I'm, I'm not professional and nobody takes my photographs from me. I just take them all myself on my iPhone. So nothing technical there. And then sewing my happy place asks me how many hours a day do I spend on my business, including social media. Um, social media, I only ever go on Instagram and I have Instagram linked to Facebook. So whenever I post on Instagram, it gets posted straight over to Facebook. I very, very rarely go on Facebook. The only time I go on Facebook is when I'm doing my pattern testing because I've got the groups over there. Uh, I just prefer Instagram, so I just go on Instagram and I will post a daily post, which will take me all of 10, 15 minutes. And then obviously throughout the day, when I'm having a coffee, I might scroll through Instagram and see what people have posted. So if you add, added it all up through the day, maybe about an hour, the whole day, an hour, maybe two, maybe two hours. I don't know, I've never really timed myself actually, but I don't, I'm not on it all the time. Mind you, John might say otherwise. I do sit with my phone. I'm always attached to my phone. So I do sit with my phone and when I'm watching the TV, I might have one eye on the TV and one eye on my phone possibly. So maybe, yeah, maybe a bit more, but nothing mega. And then I, social media business. I do, a, I do a weekly newsletter, which I type up once a week, so that doesn't take me too long. So I don't, I don't spend an awful lot of time on social media, although I, sometimes maybe I do. Mm, I'm not answering this question very well, am I? I don't feel as if I do anyway, so I literally post on the morning and yeah, I only ever post once a day and then sometimes I might post on the stories, but, but that's it. So yeah, it's so not an awful lot. Didn't really answer that very well, did I? And then Sewing Rogue has asked, who was my first sewing teacher? Well, my ever, only one and only sewing teacher was Mrs. Sheldrake at school, who she absolutely hated me. She never said a nice word to me. Everything I made, she nitpicked at. I always made some criticism and what have you, really did knock my confidence. And uh, she wasn't very nice to me at all, but I persevered because I absolutely loved sewing. She always gave me the worst sewing machine we had. Frister and Rostrum sewing machines, then we had Benina sewing machines, and then we had Singer. And Frister and Rostrum were the top notch, then Benina were fairly good, and then the Singer. And she always gave me the Singer, I swear. Um, and then I remember, and I'm waffling a bit, but I remember doing my O levels as we did back, back then in 1980, wherever it was, 81. And we had to do half a garment the left side of a, a garment, you had a placket, you had to put a sleeve in, you had to put a collar in, all of that, buttonholes, and I think it was the right, I can't remember what side it was, maybe the left side, and then I finished it, it was absolutely beautiful, I was so pleased, and towards the end of the exam, she came over my shoulder and she went, you do realise you're doing the wrong side, and I was like, I just looked at her and went, what are you doing the wrong side, the instructions, well, the exam papers ask you to do the left side, you've done the right. And I was like, oh, thank you. So I thought, that's it, I've flown it. But I got a B, even though I did the wrong side because it was so well made. So if I'd, have got, if I'd done the right side, I probably would have got an A+. a plus. And so there you go, Mrs Sheldrake. So yeah, she was my first and only sewing teacher because then when I left school, I didn't take sewing any further. Wish I did though. Oh, I'd love to have done that now. And um, I've just self-taught, everything I do is self-taught. Never forget. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not scarred. <laughs> and then Flynn, 1957, she's asked, have I sewn for many years? Well, as I say, since school, sewing, and then obviously I've come back to sewing. So I have sewn on and off. I've had no like professional training, no training, it's just all self-taught. So if you sat there thinking, are you watching and you're love to start dressmaking or you, you think I can't do it well we, everybody starts somewhere I started somewhere you do get better as you go along it's all practice 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 they say that for everything don't they so don't be deterred you have to start off if I was gonna if I was say if I was gonna say something and you're gonna start dressmaking start off with something really really simple and then your confidence will be up there because you know you started off with something simple and I would say 
stick with a few simple things until you're really really confident and then slowly gradually build up to more complex patterns I would say that's definitely the best way to do it and Melaleuca Rise I think that's how I've pronounced it right hopefully has asked how do I cope with the fear of judgment when you put yourself out into the world what a good question that is I don't I just no, I don't. I just, um, I think I'm more, I think I'm more confident, I'm 55 now, so I might not have said this when I was in my 40s or 30s, definitely not, might not have said this, but now I'm just happy in my own skin, I'm quite happy with how I look and who I am and this is me and I don't fear any judgement at all. I've never had any negative comments, to be fair, everybody has been really, really lovely on Instagram and here on YouTube, I've never had anybody say anything negative. But even if anybody did, it would not bother me at all because I just look at it as if, well, they're entitled to their opinion and if we all agree to disagree, I think it would be, the world would be a, a better place. So I don't, I'm not, I'm not fearful of that at all because I put myself out there because I feel confident to do that. So I just don't, put, I, I never think, oh, should I post this picture? Oh, what do I look like? Nah, I don't have that anymore. I might have done it in my 30s and 40s though. But at the moment, with my age now, I am don't think that at all. It's a, it's great being 55. It's great being in your 50s. So if you're in your 30s and your 40s and you sat watching, you've got so so much. It's so much good. So many good times ahead. Let me tell you. When you get into your 50s, it all changes. Your attitude changes. Oh yeah. So something to look forward to, definitely. But yes. Yeah, so no, I don't fear fear at all any judgment of me whatsoever and if somebody ever did say you look ridiculous in the floral why do you always wear floral because I do always wear floral I would just say because I like wearing floral and thank you for your comments that's all I would say wouldn't bother me I wouldn't lose any sleep over it at all and then only Mui has asked thank you how am I how am I I'm all right thank you very much I'm absolutely loving what I'm doing I'm loving this creative side I'm loving the direction that I'm going in I'm loving sewing i'm loving designing it's hard work obviously i'm a carer for john my husband it's very very hard work it's very tiring it's very stressful you know, it's constant there's no i can't like have to take a day off type of thing but you just learn to live with the situation that you're in so we're all in different situations and we just all adapt and learn and i don't see it as a as a negative thing i just see it as the things the thing that we have to, to do to get on with our daily life and that's the way we have to do it so I don't you know ever see I'm a, I am a bit of a glass half full person and I always try to see the positives out of any situation not always I mean not not perfect by any means I know not at all <laughs> no I'm not uh, but I do that's what I true do try to um, look at things you know glass half full because you know there's lots of people out there that are worse off than me and it's I don't see I don't just don't see it as a as an issue for me I'm probably because I've been looking after him since he had his stroke in 2004 so it's quite a long time now so maybe because I'm just used to doing what I do so maybe it could be that um but yeah I'm, I'm absolutely fine I do worry obviously about him because he's had quite a lot of falls in the last in the last two weeks he's had a bad spate of falls the other day a few days ago in within 36 hours he'd had four falls within 36 hours how he's never broke a bone in all the times he's fallen i will never know he's made a strong stuff i think we're both made a strong stuff you just get on with it don't you that's your life you have to do what what comes your way so yeah so but yeah we're fine absolutely fine plodding on ticking ticking over but yeah absolutely i'm absolutely fine and thank you so much for asking jay lynn i think it is asked what do i find more challenging when designing a pattern i would say the actual grading of the pattern that is the most challenging because you've got to obviously grade it up and grade it down because i always start off with my size which i would say i'm a medium and then obviously you've got to grade it and that's you know, I've got to get it right because there's millimetres involved and what have you. I would say that's the most challenging and that takes most of my, the majority of my time at when I am designing a pattern. But yeah, that's the most challenging. Tracy's asked, how many hours a day do I sew? My productivity amazes her. Oh, thank you. Um, I don't sew every day and if I do sew, probably 
maybe four or five hours on that day when I saw. I am pretty quick now when I did um, a Dixie dress. We did that in three and a half hours. Um, yeah, my dresses, three hours. So I am pretty quick now. I think I'm pretty quick because the my patterns, so everything's in my head and I don't have to refer to somebody else's instructions because obviously it's my instructions so I know what I'm doing, if you know what I mean. So I think that's probably why I'm pretty quick. And I feel quite confident in my sewing and everything now so yeah so that's probably how long and yeah maybe seem very productive some days I feel as if I don't get anything made at all I don't sew every day that is for sure and then make it so Sally said do I live near Middlesbrough uh, in the northeast I do yes I'm about five miles outside of Middlesbrough born and raised here in the northeast of England then I got married we got married I went all the way down to Essex for four years and then we moved up to Manchester for two years and then we came back so I've been we've been back since 1989 so I love I love living around here the northeast of England absolutely love it uh, and then we've got Heather asking when did I start sewing well 19 you know at school uh, but what's my favorite make favorite make well at the moment I think it's the Dixie dress I absolutely love how this turned out absolutely love it and this is something that I'm hoping to bring as a custom a custom um, garment to the shop absolutely love how this turned out this is the Dixie dress which is going to be um, blouse length smock length and then obviously the maxi length the maxi length but yeah I think that's my favorite this year but then again I like the Arla the simplicity of the Arla and I also like the mouth of the neck oh yeah I don't know. I like everything I create, I think. I, I can't, I, yeah. I say, I mean, I love my duvet dress, my primrose dress. So, yeah, I think I like everything I make. Lucy has asked, how did I come up with my fantastic style? Thank you very much. I didn't think it was a, my style was fantastic. Again, going back to what I said before, I'm comfortable in my own skin. So it's like, you're not, I'm not restricted by anything now because it's I'm creating things that I like so I don't feel like I have to follow somebody else I don't feel like I have to wear something that really isn't me because somebody else has designed it or somebody else has made it or I have to buy it and because it, that's all that's available in the shop so because that's what I, that's one of the reasons why I want to do my dressmaking is because I was buying things that were made in the shop weren't necessarily what I really really liked or wanted to wear but that's all there was available type of thing my style has just adapted evolved shall we say to me wearing things that I just absolutely love myself and nobody is like um, influenced me at all it's this these this is pure this is on this here is purely Jane this is me this is what I love I feel comfortable in I love designing so this is if you want to know who I am this is me in a nutshell floral ruffles flounces a bit of vintage style maybe a bit of yeah not, not bit, yeah a little bit of days gone by type of thing, muted colours, yeah, that's me. Elise has asked, how how did I learn to sew? Well, that was at school, am I self-taught? Basically self-taught, yeah, and I haven't been to any classes. What do I like most about dressmaking and what is my pet hate? Dress, look, the, the thing I like most about dressmaking is I'm wearing things that I've created. Oh, that's definitely, that is the bottom line. My pet hate, yeah, the only thing I don't like doing is ironing on interfacing. That's my pet hate. <laughs> a bit boring, but yeah, yeah, I like everything. I like even unpicking. I love unpicking. I think it's very therapeutic. I love a bit of unpicking, and uh, yeah, I hate ironing, interfacing on, and then ups and absolutely fabulous. As asked, how is my husband doing? Like, like I've just said previously, he's not doing too bad. He's obviously had a few falls, so he's not been doing too good. But he's all, he's all right. He's uh, he's he, I'd like to say he's safe. Mm. It's supposed to be safe in my care. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's maybe I'm not a very good carer. I've just thought of that. Hmm. I probably won't win no carers awards. I think because my husband keeps falling and getting cuts and bruises and bangs of the head, and I'm supposed to be his carer. Hmm. But yeah, uh, yeah, he's, he's he's okay. He's okay. Thank you so much for asking, though. And I'll tell him that you're asking because he does. He loves to hear when people are asking after him. And then Hazel has asked, what size is my cutting table? Well, my cutting table is literally, literally three IKEA 
Kallax units buttered together and then we've got a great big piece of MDF and I've got a great big piece of uh, self-healing mat which I got cut speci specifically for that size and it measures approximately not quite two meters long and it's probably about a meter just over a metre wide so yeah so thank you for all those questions I hope I've enlightened you a little bit more about myself um, going back to John as well also if you don't know and you, ha you have just you've just tuned in today John is 20 years older than me I'm 55 John's 75 so that's one another reason why I'm also caring for him we have a 20 year age difference so I am caring for caring for John and uh, obviously he is 20 years older than me so I know that's obvious but so he is in his 70s so he's obviously going to be older in his ways than me because I'm still in my 50s so you, you're going to have that kind, kind of like difference as well so but yeah but we're fine we've been married 36 years and three children and five grandchildren so thank you so much for all your questions so that was the question and answer and then I really enjoyed those questions thank you so much before I go uh, probably chewed your ear long enough. I have got a sneak peek of some absolutely delicious fabrics that I'm going to be making this Dixie dress in. Just a little sneak peek because it's not available online yet. I'm going to be doing a lovely collaboration with First for Fabrics which is a local fabric store about an hour away from me, 50 minutes away from me and I've ordered loads of things from them. In fact these two fabrics, these linens, are from there. They've got loads of fabrics, they're all online and they're on an Instagram and they have the fabrics are just an amazing price. But they said beforehand, would I like to try out one of their new fabrics that they're getting? And they saw the fabric and they just immediately thought, floral, Jane. And just a sneak peek, because it's not it's not available yet. What isn't that me? It is so me. They know me so well. So I'm going to be making the Dixie dress in this. I've got two meters to play with. I'm not sure whether I'll have enough to do the full on maxi, but it'll be enough to make a proper dress. So I had to show you. So yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're all still here. It won't be two weeks till the next vlog. It will be back to every week. Loads going on and I'll, I'll always keep you up to date and don't forget if you like to follow me on Instagram you'll see daily snippets of what I'm doing so you'll be kept up to date over there so come over and join me on Instagram and come say hi I always say hi back but yeah so until the next time please take care and happy sewing.